Yeah, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Black Trey from Your Game and Your Network bringing you another one, man. So this is just going to be a quick video showing a little bit of teamwork. I linked up with a few, well, a couple of my people, you know what I mean? And basically, I just want to show my thought process on um, going through this week's Nightmare Survival. I see a lot of people still having questions about it. So, you know, I'm just uh, here. So it is what it is, man. So on this level, what I usually do when I start off, I usually just take that left. It don't matter how many people go on left, I usually will just go here and start off at the obelisk. Um, I sort of just do that because I like repetition. Um, because I hate, like, getting through and not finishing the matches. So, all right, so here's this Tengu here. The Tengu's, like, they're not super tough, but they can easily kill you, so you got to watch out for them. All right, so he had thrown bombs, so I walked over to his smoke bomb to see what he can do. You see I'm about to die. Um, so I think he threw some... Um, he threw some black um some concussion bombs that held me down right there. You know what I mean? I was gonna use mine anyway, but I was just filling it out. When I was watching this back before, I was seeing like my my offense wasn't as fluid. We could have finished this a little quicker. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, even though I jump cut there, I'm I'm probably not doing any more jump cuts just because um, I want to just like, you know, talk my thought process of going through and like what I was like thinking as I was going. So basically, um, what I do is I normally will um, try to space out like where I'm starting, like at the, at the beginning of the wave, like if there's going to be like two waves back to back, I'll tend to go to that wave. Or if there's like, you know, like the boulder ledge or the boulder cliff, like I'll just take that. So I just try and um, go someplace where we can, you know, hit the spawns when they come in and it doesn't make it as difficult because they're easier to defend and when they're in one place as opposed to being scattered across the map is a little difficult. So I think for this one, it's like boulder ledge, I think. But I just forego that because uh, your man was here already. Oh, yeah, peoples. Um, so there you go. You hit the spawn with the black powder bombs. And they got hit with a lot of bombs. So they went down in those two spawns. So there you go. Uh, I didn't use my spoke bomb at first. So that was cool. We, we spanked that pretty quick. The ghosts. Uh, but you see, it was three people over there. Then I think it's Boulder. I think it's, you see the Boulder Ledge of Boulder Lighthouse. Yeah, there it go. So good thing he was there. To sort of slow him down. But that's why I came through. It's like, mm. Just trying to keep him in the same location. Yeah. Samurai's no joke. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, I, I think I was just making sure that uh, nobody else was coming. And I think uh, the next one, yeah, ledge. And I think I'm just going to cut them off here. I don't know, somebody else is already there. The ghosts knew they needed to prepare. A lot of people use that the Moon Master cancel, but I suck with that, so that ain't gonna work. Oh, uh, boss, I forgot. Oh yeah, it's, I think it's um, and I was trying to go under, but I ended up having to go over. It's cool, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Sorry, Cause I never did that before. So the reason why I did that because I was so late. I was trying to catch the, the wave at the beginning, but I was too late. But as you see, we had a hunter there and uh, took out all the headshots. Use a concussion bomb because a bit of medicine heals you. Yeah. 
Bang, bang. And I think there's another wave here, so that's why you see me post it up. Because we left them to just handle the ledge. And what I like to do is I like to throw the bombs like first and then throw the smoke. Because then, you know, sometimes you get the, the black powder bombs back and I'll just, you know, knock them down with the bombs. And I was a little off. I noticed like, um, like I usually get a little closer before I start my combo, but I was a little off there. But still getting the job done. But you see, as um, what I try to do is I try to be support. So like, you know, when the first one is called, uh, I hit the next one. Or if I know like two waves are gonna come to one side, I'll, I'll hit it there. I think it was the lighthouse on the other side first. Oh, ledge. Yeah, but coming from the cliff side. And I think we had to do the assassination from above. And um, we, we knocked it out somehow. <laughs> we knocked that joint out. But it was like a little smoke, and then from there you just uh, jump over and do it. Because, uh, wait, I didn't use my special there. Okay. I don't even know why I didn't use my special there. I think I just saved it to use it now. Yep. Five blade is no joke, man. I was just hanging here because they about to hit. Look how fast uh, we take them out on this wave. Uh, yeah, you see, so I'm pretty much on the bottom so far. Which is cool. I don't mind. We, we make up for it. Look at that. It's just at least like 10 enemies. Get them on myself. Well, actually, I didn't. And I'm thinking I'm hitting the next farm. Here we go. I just help him out. There we go. Go and grab some ammo. And it's Tango Wave, so. It's always good to have a Ronin, man. Especially for Saron and knows what they're doing. So you see, because all three of them are running to finish up that, I'm like, yo, let me just um, you know, get started on the next wave. So I'm just gonna go hang out. By the way, the next wave is gonna where they're gonna start off. Boss wave, boss wave. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't check for the, um, for the disciple, because I'm just like, yo, it's been a long time. And we weren't up that side, so. I think when they spawn. Oh no, that wasn't this one. Okay.
Dunzo. Your name fill ammo. So you working as a team, and I never went up there one time to get ammo at all. Trouble over here, so came through. Not that tough. Wasn't the toughest wave. I think I'm going down to Boulder now. The Lord defeated a disciple. Oh yeah, this is the this is the wave I went down. Look at look at that. I went down OD. I just got hit with two tangles. You see what I should have did was now that I know next time on wave seven. I'm gonna try and I don't know how much time I'm gonna have. Tomorrow I'm, I think I'm gonna rerun this. Um but yeah. When I um go for that wave, if I go to rock that out again. I'm gonna make sure that I use the smoke first because the Tengu, once you use that smoke, like they're not, um, they're not that much of a threat. Especially, you know, you hit them with the black powder bombs, they definitely take that L. Take this disciple down, get him out of here. See that blood strikes, you see my head have my health rising, keeping the health up. EDs with the D's. It's my fault, I don't have the list in front of me, so I don't know where the waves are. I'm assuming that I don't know if this is the first wave that come in here. Oh yeah. Are we getting up there? I was like, I thought I was still like super low, but we was pretty close. Starting to catch up. Ghost. Having different classes, as you can see, can really help out. Yeah, you see? So the wave spawn, hit them with that smoke bomb, you see they just gather up. That's why I think smoke bomb, like, I do like the demon seeds and I do like other stuff, but just the fact that the smoke bomb gives you ammo and it just, like, clusters them together and they can't do anything, like, I love it. The, um... Honestly and truly, I'm not even gonna lie. I may have fared better with the um with the sticky bomb. Because it's just like like I got kills and stuff, but I didn't really get a like a ton of kills with the um with the spirit kunai. Like it's dope what it does, but it's not like the strongest. Um I may what I may end up doing because I have I have the fire ones also, so I may try those out, especially since this is mostly a fire build. Um, the only thing is it's not gonna happen. I think I'll put super massive and fire it up. But the only thing is if they die from fire damage from that, it doesn't give you the 10 seconds. They have to die from the actual kunai killing. Specialist beast. I don't think I was able to finish him off over here. Got him. I think they was heading. Yeah, one at Lighthouse and two at Obelisk. Oh, I said, let me just finish these dudes off. Oh, I could have ended it at, at first, like initially, but um. The ghosts knew no end. I don't know what the hell, I don't even know what the hell happened there, but somebody did something. Yeah, you seen I went down because the thing with the disciples is, you see, because I wouldn't have went down twice, but 
I would have only went down that one time. And the only reason why I went down is because I didn't realize that when you start, if you, if you like, um, attack a disciple and then you leave, I didn't know that they had that wave burst. Because if I'm killing them, I usually would just kill them. Because I was just like, yo, what the hell? When I went down, I was like, yo, that's freaking crazy. Eos forces have given up. And I'm just like, eh, do I got enough time to make it? I think it was like two at Obelisk. I think it was like Obelisk, Cliff Lighthouse, and then Obelisk, if I'm not mistaken, on this one. So I think we just knocked this one out real quick. And then I think we head down to Obelisk. I think. Oh no, it's two. So that, that's why I came up here. What are you trying to see? Yeah, that girl. Yeah, we pretty much had finished everything. We killed most of them, so I said, let me just retrieve some ammo. Bang. <laughs> you see that? From freaking across the map. Hunters are no joke, man. So it's always good to have a hunter in your squad. You have a hunter in your squad, so good. I think this wave was um two at Obelisk. So because we didn't catch from at spawn, I'm gonna go hit the disciple if nobody's there yet. But he's over there. So he's in the disciple. If I got smoke bomb, I'm gonna use it. Which I'm like, okay, there it go. Uh, I see the, the eternal life went away. And we used that. And I think I was saving the special because, uh... Oh, was that even an assassin? Damn, that's crazy. I thought it was a samurai. Wait, poison? I don't know what the hell that was about. Demise. Double team him. So it doesn't matter if you have a disciple, dude. Hold that. I think first one they call here is uh, Obelisk. And I think uh, I'm heading to the ledge. I believe. You. Yeah, you see, I'm all out of whack. <laughs> it's like, why did I stop so far from him? Now, immunity on this one, um, they don't, um, they don't, the fire damage, you know, they don't do a lot. So this one's, this is, a, this is one of the, it's not an impossible way, it's a little tougher. Um, I hate them freaking bears. They ain't always gonna have a roll in man. So. Rolling got bombs. So that definitely helps on and with Ronin, they get twelve concussions, man. Well, the next time I do this, I'm gonna see if I can rock out with uh with my Ronin. I don't know. As of late, I haven't been using my Ronin as much. Um, cause I've been more trying to be on the offensive to see what's the maximum DPS I can do on my samurai. You know, see if I can consistently be like, you know, number one or two. But, uh, you know, there's times when you just don't get there. I like Disciples, man. The, um, oh, the orbs, I find it's pretty tough. So next week, I don't know if it's going to be orbs or if it's going to be uh, the arrows, man. But them joints, man. 
ghost gave that joint tough. everything they had. The thing I do like about the arrows, though, um, when I play with the uh, hunter, I use the what's it called? the charm that it ignores uh, Benkai's last sound. I, I believe it's called. It ignores seventy-five percent arrow damage. Which is actually pretty cool because you have more time to like stand and fire your bow. You know, of course, they got that quick shot technique. You see? Right here. I just had to get a few kills because the disciple was up there, so it was just like, alright, there. You know, because he has the forever heal, forever life. So I had to come up here because I think it was two coming. The lighthouse but I was pretty straight from here and that fight fire blade is beast and when you do when you do the fire blade with the um special it's just like it's like double the effect minus fucking beast I don't think I went over there because I was like alright most of I've played rounds where it would be like alright you see that uh, you see the yellow? It's, it's, um, it's not secure and there's an enemy. And then I'll go and try and help somebody out or something like that. Or there'll be people there and I'll leave. And then they'll leave too. And then it was just like, we'll lose. And it was like, Yo, what, what in the world? Sometimes I'll be playing with people that don't play too smart. And 14 and 15 are not easy waves. But. And shoot, take your ammo. Use all them bombs. Use that special. Get bad at that. I think this is. Is this the way that I got two at the I think so. So we just did that to clear out the light, the lighthouse of the ledge, wherever it was going. And then on, on the last wave, they hit, they hit all three um, circles, I believe. So. I should actually save that. I should have, I really should have saved that. And I think this is the first one. I was able to take him out before. I think that bear was dead, cause I hate the bears, man. I was lucky that I didn't go completely down off that. Grab the ammo. I, I was mad lucky I didn't go down off that. Check if I got bombs, man. This freaking... I was getting beat down over here. I was like, yeah, let me use that special, man. Sheesh. I was so glad when you finished that. The threat now vanquished. And bam. The ghost prepared to move onward and challenge. And look at that. I ended up being the leader. Not bad. Not bad. I didn't think I was be would be on top. 
But, uh, yeah, ended up being on top. But I probably wouldn't have been on top if that dude would have picked something other than Ronan. But um, it was clutch. Like, because when people went down, that Ronan, he was on it. He picked them, he picked them up. So, because when I play Ronan, I really don't be picking people up that much. Because, of, like, when you use Heavenly Strike. So, I try to keep three. Um, but, you know, when them waves get tough, sometimes you need to Heavenly Strike. <sighs> Finally in the 30,000s, man. I've been building, making so many bills that I've been using on my freaking honor. But yeah, man, there it go. Yeah, make sure you holler at us, man. You know that when you when you fight with teamwork, you know um, you're able to get a lot more done. So what I would say is get some consistent people to play with. You know what I mean? Either like one or two people, and then you know that way. If you do have to add a couple of randoms to your squad, you're more likely to finish the, you know, finish the the, the waves and get through to the end. You know, if you have like two or three people that you always play with, you know how you are rocking, you know, because sometimes like I'll come in like and I'm just like, yo, I only got one game in me and I pick up some randoms and I just be like, yo. You know, you know what I mean? It'll just be like, let me just throw a Nightmare Survival, see if I get through it. And then, like, I'm carrying the whole match. And then it is what it is. Yeah, well, there it go, you know. the um That was basically it, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more. Um, I'm still working on my Assassin build because I do want to do um an Assassin video. But my... I'm going to have to spend a day and just get them maximumed up because the thing with my assassin is I don't have them on 120 and it's a poison build. And in Nightmare, the poison build doesn't really do as much. Uh, but I do love the special on the um, on the assassin. So I just got to figure out what's the way that I'm going to play that builds the most resolve for the assassin. Uh, my brother, he plays with um, the Liquid Courage. And I think that's cool. But, um, you know, it is what it is, man. I'll let you, boy. I'm going to get to that. I'm going to definitely get to that. Um, as soon as... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do another um, video for this uh, Nightmare Survival. Because I already, you know, got a few there. Uh, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So, you know, holla at me. Uh, check in. Let me know what you guys think of the build. Um, well, I didn't really show the build off. But let me know what you guys think of the gameplay. Anything else you guys want to see. Um, I may do a video going through like some of my favorite legendaries and stuff like that. It is what it is, man. Um, GG's to everybody. You know, I'm really a lotus community. I'll at me, man. We out.